Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this 50 gram skein of commercially dyed alpaca yarn. The dyes I'm going to use today are mint green, sea glass, new emerald green, these are fibre reactive dyes from Dharma and sour apple which is an acid dye from Dharma. Now as alpaca is an animal fibre we can use um, fibre reactive dyes and acid dyes. This has been soaking in water for probably about two days now. Uh, doesn't need to be quite that long. But I set this up to, to dye two days ago and I ran out of time. I then added some vinegar maybe about five, ten minutes ago. So hopefully there's enough vinegar in here. Right. This was mint green that I've just speckled on. I have here a 10 gram skein of superwash merino nylon yarn. It's been sitting in vinegar and water for about two weeks now. I set this up uh, for some dyeing a couple of weeks ago and then didn't end up using it. So what I'm going to do is just wipe my fingers on here because I've still got all that dye on my fingers gonna wipe it and look look at that it's just wiped a nice big patch on there I'm just gonna put that off to the side and now I'm gonna go wash my hands properly this was mint green and you can see look it's breaking there's a splodge of orange there's a splodge of yellow there's just these little random splodges everywhere oh that makes me really happy <laughs> this isn't going to be fine speckles, you can see this was my first sprinkle, <laughs> but no, as long as it is pretty, <laughs> I'm not worried. The, the aim wasn't to get really fine speckles. I've never speckled on alpaca before, so I don't really know what to expect. I think this is only the second or third time I've actually dyed alpaca, uh, so <laughs> this is all a bit of, bit of new territory for me. So I'm going to go into the sea glass now. I'm just going to grab a little pinch just between my fingers and sprinkle it on. Whenever I do this, I always end up with a huge patch, huge clump first of all. Uh, I am going to get some salt and pepper shakers because this might help my, my speckling technique. <laughs> I'm not great at speckling, but for now, this is what it is. So that's the sea glass. Okay, and again, I'm going to wipe my fingers on my little extra skein of yarn here before I go and wash my hands properly. Okay, next up, I'm going to new emerald green. At the moment, I'm keeping these colours separate. I'm just curious to see about breaking that's happened here, really quite strong in the mint green. Uh, I'm curious to see if this will happen with all of them. I think I see a little bit of breaking in the sea glass before I will flip this and then speckle on the other side. So mix those up a little bit. And now I'm going into the sour apple. I love this colour, but I don't often use it. I don't think I've ever speckled with it. So I'm very interested to see if this breaks. I know the three fibre reactive dyes do. So I've, I, I, I think I've used all the fibre reactive dyes in some sort of either ice dyeing or speckling capacity. And I've seen them all, all split into the colours that they're made of. But I haven't done this so much with the acid dyes. And I think, I think I've only used this radioactive once, or, not radioactive, sour apple once or twice. It's a gorgeous colour, I really need to use it more often. There we go, I think that, that'll do for now. Just come in for a little close up. This is the mint green that I first used. And you can see those beautiful breaking speckles there. Coming over here to the sour apple. This doesn't look like it's broken. Doesn't mean it won't. And it's not disappointing that it hasn't. 
it's just this is what it is for now lovely color and then we come over to this sea glass you can see this is broken quite a lot there's lots of yellow splodges lots of blue splodges that's oh, great and over here with the new emerald green uh, I'm not sure if this has broken on or that is just some dye that hasn't there we go I'm just going to poke that in <laughs> but uh, oh yeah there's some oops there's some blue splodges there for this new emerald green it looks like it's quite a it breaks quite blue so this is beautiful so I'm now going to leave this for about 10 minutes and then I can flip it and speckle on the other side it's been about 10 minutes now so I'm going to flip this very carefully Uh, separate it out a bit so that we can get dye on as much of the yarn as possible. I'll start with the sour apple this time and I'm not going to just keep it in one area I'm just going to sprinkle all over. I don't think there needs to be too much on this side uh, because yeah, it just doesn't there's already quite a lot of dye coming through here only going to use the tiniest amount of new emerald green on this side because this is quite a strong one. I'm trying to focus on areas that I can see don't have any dye. Come in for another close up and see all these colours, all these greens mixing together. That sour apple really is very yellow in comparison to the other greens that I picked out. It's lovely, this, these are looking really, really pretty together. If we go really close, you can see there's lots of blues coming out in this breaking. Oh, there's a, there's a spot of orange there. It, I still don't think that that sour apple has split into the colours that it's made of. It's not a primary, meaning that there is more than one colour pigment in there, but it doesn't look like it's split like the other ones have. Oh, I love this. I think that's so pretty and all like this. So now this is ready to steam. So I can move those out of the way and I'm just going to wrap this up as, as I use the cling film to protect my surface. I'm just going to wrap this up Ooh. and then this can go in the steam, my steam basket along with my little extra yarn that I wiped my fingers on and I'm going to steam this for probably maybe 40-50 minutes. This has been on the heat for probably over an hour now. Let's have a little look in there. Yeah, There's no colour in there which is great. Uh, I did add another project in there. Just ignore that for now. That will be another video. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to turn the heat off now and let it cool down. This has all completely cooled down now. So once I'm going to unwrap this and we can wash it. There is some dye left on the cling film. Uh, I'm expecting that to mean that there will be a little bit of runoff from dye that hasn't dissolved. But we will see. Hopefully it won't bleed too much. Yeah, there's a bit of green there, like I thought. But it doesn't seem to be much at all, which is great. I'm going to add a little bit of washing up liquid. This is just cold tap water. I need to be careful with this because the Alpaca is not super wash, so I don't want to felt it by agitating it too much. Yeah, there is some more green coming out. Not surprising when I've been using dry dye powder and then steaming. 
doesn't look to be too much actually. So I'm just going to keep doing this until the water is clear. Although that looks pretty clear now, I'm happy to say. So yeah, that's yeah, that looks pretty clear to me. So I'm just going to rinse this through a couple more times and then I can hang this out to dry. And here is the finished yarn. Let's have a little look at the alpaca first of all. And I love this. There are some lovely big specks. There are there's a lot of colors that spread out. There's breaking and oh there's some lovely yellow spots. There's some lovely blue spots. I just love this. I think it's worked really well and there's a really nice wash of blue there and in some patches like here you can still see the green underneath so I think this all works really really well together. I'm not sure which colour is which now. This is possibly the sour apple because it's more yellow than the others but I wouldn't like to say for sure. I think they've all worked really really well together. Then if we just look at this extra skein that I wiped my fingers on got all the colours there, they've all blended together really, really nicely to form this beautiful extra 10 gram skein of yarn. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, would you like to see me do this sort of thing again but with different colours? Leave a comment, let me know. I publish a new dyeing tutorial every Monday, usually around about 6pm UK time and I try to do different things in my videos uh, that, so there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.